million of I pull out his afternoon rent. Only you could doze off eating your breakfast. Yeah, Monday. What? Monday, uh, I've been thinking. I think you and Paddy are really well suited. Yeah? Ta. Yeah, and, uh, you know when you first met him? Before you started going out together? How did you know that he fancied you? Oh, I don't know. We just got on straight away. I mean, couldn't stop talking. Couldn't keep our eyes off each other. Talking? Right. Uh, what about? Well, I don't know. Stuff. Why? Someone got that for you? No. You got that for someone else? No. Been very negative this morning, Butch. Yeah, if you're going to Chipmillage, can you give us a lift there, man? Got a meeting to attend to. Important business. I suppose. You're not going to put a brick through some poor lass's window, are you? Mandy, there isn't any lass. I was just thinking, that's all. Oi, Kelly. The bill, monsieur. Uh, it will be charged to the credit card of monsieur Christopher Tate. Thank you. Kelly, this is um, nearly 20,000 francs. That's what it says there. Monsieur Tobin, s'il vous plaît. Sounds a lot, but it's not much in our money. I've seen Chris spend that in a night. Please, would you sign to confirm receipt of the bill, Monsieur Glover? Monsieur Tobin, s'il vous plaît. Them chocks. Can you add them on? To Monsieur Tate's bill? Aye. Of course. Thank you very much. There you go, darling. Yeah. <laughs> Merci, Monsieur Tate. I'd better get a big thank you for this, as it was a particularly good idea of right, mine. No, Marlon, your idea was to give Ryan Kelly a bit of space, not to make you feel good. So this? Oh, it's Ryan Kelly, they're coming back from Paris today. And with our usual selfless spirit, we're clearing out of Annie's for a whole week. That's up there, young love, may breathe. <laughs> I'm off to Lynn's. I'll drop Mr. Fred later on. So you're saying tonight? Well, yeah, just for a few days. Oh, for a few days. I don't mind, it'll be fun. I'll ask around if it's too much trouble. No, come and stay with us. That is okay then. You could have asked me, Biff. Yeah, of course it's okay. Come on, trouble school. What are you doing here? I asked Laura to look the Darrow's contract over. What a good idea. Looks like we are stuck with it. It'll start eating into your capital soon, if it hasn't done already. I wouldn't go making any big plans for a while. Yes, sir. I drafted the deal myself. It's washer tight. So you admit it was your fault? I wasn't the one who insisted on selling Tate Hollage's services for such a ridiculous price. You could have tried to stop me. I did nothing but try and stop you. I'll leave you both to it. Two hours consultancy. I think you remember my rate. You've got to be joking. And if you want my advice about any of the other stupid things you've done, just ask. Hey, up. What's this, Seth? Open house. Uh, gentlemen, we're just having a meeting about raising funds to buy the boozer. Join us. Eh, uh, no, no, that's OK. I'll just finish my bracket. Leave you to it. Hmm. All right, then. So my fair's coming up. I can make a bundle. Really? How? My veg. Even though I've had my prize carrots finished, I still right now we in reach at cup. Ah, that should raise, what, 15 quid? I thought you were eating your breakfast. If Bernice can raise the money, so can I. Bernice has got her savings. And she'll have a financial plan. She'll get a bank loan for the deposit. You've got note. Did you say financial plan? Aye. I can do them on my computer. I'll just switch it on. <gasps> hey! Where'd you get this? So we take what you can it out. I bet it says it's not a glorified type, but it's a marvel. And it says in here it does financial plans. Well, we can work it all out on this. It's got a calculator in it. Oh, that's brilliant. And it's got a little tray to put your teacup on. Can't fail with this on our side. All right. Just going to see if Chris needed a hand with Joseph. How are you? OK. Chris looks act off this morning, more than usual. Oh, really? Thought we were celebrating our big new deal, but he looks right sour. Never mind. Frankie, I really enjoyed the other night. I really like Maggie. Yeah? Yeah, I was wondering, uh, why don't we all go out tonight? If you're free. Into Leeds? Not her. 
It's Maggie's shifts. It's tonight's the only night we've both got free all week. Oh, well, we could still go out. No, you'd rather be together, I understand. Yeah, another time. <laughs> Zoe? Hi. Just passing. I if you needed a hand with Jason. Got him an agency nanny. Just a temp. Haven't you got work to do? Plenty. Just pass it. Unrequited love must get a little tedious sometime. Well, you should know. So where's Joseph? Like I said, playgroup. Nanny's gonna drop him off at Graham's later. Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just that Laura mentioned something about the business. I keep reminding people. Laura doesn't work here anymore. Asking price for the wall plaque. Two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Two, five, all, 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 all. Enter. And we need to put down a deposit of thirty percent. I'll use my calculator. Point three oh percent. Enter. Only 750 quid. Blimey, what a bargain! That shouldn't be <laughs> difficult to muster. Yeah, hang on. 30%. That's right. Of 250,000, there's 75,000. Yeah? You must have got the decimal point wrong. I don't told with them decimals. You've got to find 75,000 quid. Just for deposit? Aye. And it don't take a computer to tell you you ain't going to open hell. Just down here on right, please, mate. Back to reality. Back to my family. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Kelly, you look fantastic. How's the flight? All right. Hope you treated her well, Roy. I have no complaints. Hold on. Don't get out here. Why? Driver, could you just drive on round the corner? Well, what's happened? What's going on? It's a surprise. Look, I'm getting out if you're not telling me. Just do as you told Kelly. I can't stand here arguing. I've got customers. Now get going. This is just an antique shop. No, not here. Upstairs. All right. Hi, Mandy. Hi, oh, yeah. You've not seen Pollard on the way up, have you? No. Oh, good. He's after me rent, a stingy beggar. I mean, he only owe him two weeks, but he's just ripping me off. Oh. I don't really have much for sexy fellas. No, Richard. Oh, I've seen him at the wedding. Mandy. Hiya. Uh, he's, uh, he's after a shirt. Let's check out that rail, then. What's in there? Oh, stock room. I've never used it. Is Bar charging you for it? He probably didn't even know he's there. I bet that's Kelly and Roy! <laughs> I don't want a shirt. If yeah, what we do need is proper premises. But that girl's in here. Yeah, well, for the moment. I'm sure I can have a word with a stingy landlord who's ripping her off. But she seems really nice. And what are nice people for, eh? Hey! <laughs> Hello, young lovers! Yeah, great. <laughs> oh, it's all, lads. Hey, hey, it's not just about this crummy banner, you know. Oh, no, no, this is only the beginning. Oh, all right. For seven long, love-filled days, this exclusive accommodation is all yours. Now, I know it's not what you've become accustomed to. Because Chris Tate's not paying for it this time. <laughs> but rest assured, it contains every convenience. Hot and cold running water. Well, cold, plus fully fitted kitchen with grill, inch deep and only the mm, finest grill. I don't know, I, I, don't, I don't get it, though. They're moving out for a week, you plonker. So as you and your lady wife can enjoy your nuptials undisturbed. <laughs> oh, cheers, lads. I've really got... I, 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 don't, I don't know what to say. Welcome to the family. Roy, can't just stroll in. Got to carry her over the threshold. Oh, it's fine, you're supposed to be happy. Come on. Oh. Find out, lover. Get off, get off. We have to. Oh, don't get all sentimental. Right, everybody, back to work. I'll carry you on. Get off me. Oh, I feel better for that. Oh, Marlon, you're supposed to make them happy, not you. Can't be happy for everyone. Get it.
I know that could have been you and Rachel. How are you? Okay. I've got to get back to work. I'll um, I'll pop around. See you later. Only seems like five minutes ago I was taking Kelly to the infants, and now she's married. I bet she was a nice little girl. No, love, she wasn't. Oh well. I better put this up. Drawing pins. Hello again. Oh, hello. No baby today. No, I uh, I dropped her with me, Dad. Oh no, is she hurt? Eh? You dropped her. No, I, I dropped her off with me dad. Oh, I see. How are you? Fine. Mrs. Windsor's daughter's just back. Kelly? Yes. From the honeymoon. It's nice, this chatting, isn't it? Just talking about stuff. Hmm. So what should we have a chat about, then? Beg your pardon? I mean, if we're going to have a chat, we... We ought to be having a chat about so much, shouldn't we? I don't know. What are you after? Hey, what? You're never out of here lately. Don't think cos Dolly Daydream hears a soft touch you can come in on the rob. I... Cos I'm watching you like a hawk. I've got eyes in the back of my head. A hawk don't have eyes in the back of its head. I've come in for these. Like your mints, don't you? Yeah. Some species of bats have eyes in the back of their head. I think. No, no. Can't be right. Hello, Chris. Kelly, uh, did you and Roy have a good time? Oh, it was great. I've come to say thanks. The boys have moved out of Annie's for a week, so me and Roy got the place to ourselves. Good, good. Look, I'm pleased that everything went well for you, but I'm in the middle of something rather important and... Oh, right, I'll clear off then. Hiya. Hi. Receipt from the hotel. I hope it's not too much. Twenty thousand francs. That's over two thousand pounds. I mean, what the hell were you doing out there? I meant to visit the Eiffel Tower, not buy it. Well, it's itemised. I'll see you later, Chris. Thanks. <laughs> two grand and not even a thank you kiss. Oh, don't look sour. You can cover it. That is nothing compared to these. VAT, wages, utilities, maintenance, the road tax. I mean, the price of diesel, yeah, well, that's this business. We can't even consider taking on any other large contracts. There's next to nothing coming in. I mean, we're trapped. Let me have a look. Don't you understand? This business could be finished. Am I not making myself clear, or are you just stupid? There is no way out! We need a bit more money. Have you got several hundred thousand pounds just lying around? You have. I sunk nearly everything I had into setting up this business. These? These bills, they need paying now! Besides, I don't see why I should pay for your fecklessness. What? You drove me into accepting the Darrow's deal. It's your signature on the contract. I went against every instinct I have. I risked everything because you pushed me to it. You loved it. What? Trying to bring me down. Looks like you finally managed it. Speak up. These folks to the side of Pennines can't hear you. Get out! Is everything all right? We've just got that big deal, remember? Well, if this is celebrating, I'd hate to be here when there's bad news. Two grand a Chris takes money. In some fancy French hotel, you deserve that, mate. Listen, I'm gonna get back and see Kelly. Nonsense, lad. Tell us all about Paris. <laughs> Kelly spent half a time in beauty spas. Got a lot of feet done, her hands done, eyes done. I bet you talked a lot, though, didn't you? Eh? Well, you do when you're in love, like. You know, you do, you talk a lot. To the other person. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's for you, mate. No, cheers, mate, but um, I'm gonna get back. We got shit there, lad. Today, she is day one. Don't you go running after her, mate. Right? <laughs> You've got to let her know right from the start who's the boss. Butch, get right another pint. No, I ain't. Well, I'm not catching another one. You'll sup it and like it. 
Cos tomorrow comes the really hard part. Keeping her sweet on your earnings. Huh? What did he say? Oh, not much. Thought we'd get what he meant. Oh, yeah, right. So, how was it? Dead romantic? I got you this. Oh. Taco? Ooh. What do you think? It's from the hotel shop. So it went on Chris's tap and all. <laughs> so the thing I want Chris to give me. And... I can crack these open later. So, how was Roy then? He's learning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you seen Scott's mate? Ooh, makes you wish you were single again. Mm. Oh, what is that smell? Welcome back. Oh. Next week we're using clay. That's really good. Are you going to wash your hands now? Put the dinner on. Bonjour. Oh. I like myself here. Hello, Biff. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, Marlon says he's going to look after the diner tonight so you can relax. We're going to have a nice evening together. Actually, Biff, you could do me a favour. I saw Graham this morning and he looked terrible. I said I'd go over, so uh, could you look after Alice for me? Yeah, sure. I'll put the tea off till you get back. They look really bad, so I don't know how long I'll be. Is that all right? OK. Thanks. Looks like it's just you and me, then. We could watch a video. Yeah, cool. That'd be really good. Take you long, did it? What? Turning into little wifey. Oh, what's that smell? Something dying there. Hey, you know, no one ever saw Wilkins leave this place. Oh, shut up. You know, I suppose it's a bit of a come down from Paris. Me and Roy had a brilliant time, and we're going to be just as happy here or anywhere. Yeah, with you running around clearing up after him. You hypocrite! As if Viv ain't been picking up after you all your life. Me and Roy are both going to do our share. Where is Roy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's down the pub. Roy! Evening. Hello. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm just waiting for my bus. We're due at ten past. I were here at five minutes past, but I think it may have already gone. Sometimes they don't stick to the timetable. They're getting early and drive away instead of waiting. It's quite annoying. Oh, I could give you a lift if you like. Oh, no, thank you. I'll wait for the next one. Yeah, but, I mean, that won't be for ages, will it? It's all right, thank you. Please go home. I like waiting. It gives me time to think. All right. See ya. What have you been up to today? A long walk, right to Rubblesfield and back. These past few weeks I've been thinking, thinking. It took my mind off Rachel. You don't convince me. What? Telling people you're fine because you don't want to be a burden. I'm dreading next week. The inquest. Going over all those details again. Everybody knows what happened to Rachel. And it'll be the last time you'll ever have to think about it. I suppose. We'll never forget her. We can try to forget what happened that day. Voila! What? Well, it's clean. Hmm? Biff and Marla must have done it. I don't even know how to bother. It's only going to freeze up again in a couple of days. That uh, control thing is busting it. No, I did it this afternoon. This is our rehearsal for living together. It's better start as we mean to go on. I can clean the place up. It's point. I don't want to mess it up again. This is our house for this week. What I did to my nails after the manicures and all. Oh, bless. I still love you. Mm -hmm. This is it. This is us. Oh, boy. I've got to clean the place up. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I'll have to get a shower. Here. Ain't it weird thinking that we were in France this morning? Yeah. Thanks for coming. I appreciate this. What do you want? 
Another quick rant before bedtime? Oh, I really needed to talk to someone. What to you? <laughs> oh, would you like a drink? I estimate we've got another couple of months before we run into the ground. Hmm, that long? Keep thinking what Dad would say. Portage was his business. Been the biggest failure of my life. So far. What does Sean have to say? Sean, as usual, doesn't seem to understand what's happening. I'll explain it to him tomorrow, very slowly, and then maybe... <sighs> what a disaster. I don't get it, Terry. I mean, we were chatting before, getting along dead well. And then I offer her a lift and she just shrugs me off. Well, that's women. Yeah, but I just don't know where I am with her. Well, as a wise man once said, some girls need a lot of loving and some girls don't. That's dead clever, that, Terry. What should I do? Hey? Why don't you ask her out? Good idea. Hey, good news. I've been driving around with some good properties right now. Been squabbling with Chris again. Let's go on. Tell me what's wrong. Cash flow problems. Nothing too serious, but we'll have to put the house hunting on hold. You don't want the details. But you told me to start looking for a new place. We can, in a few weeks. We've been holding back on this for months. Surely now we can... It's not going to happen yet, OK? Let's go. All you need is a bit of application. No, it's impossible. Oh, I can't stand the thought of Bernice taking over. She's unbearable, isn't she? Seth's right. You can't give up now. Well, I thought you was going to help me. We're advisors, that's all. You need some advice, then. What you need's a rich fellow. You look at Kelly. Oh, well, I ain't rich. No, but Chris Tate's throwing it about. Aye, £2,000 on that honeymoon. I'd rather be poor and happy than rich and miserable like Chris Tate. Well, you are Uncle Zach. I am what? Poor and happy. <laughs> ah, I come to think of it, I am I. <laughs> <laughs> Sad for Chris Tate. So, why am I here? I wanted to apologise for snapping at you this morning. Sean was obviously right to consult you. Hmm. Well, I accept your apology. I thought we could talk. No, you thought you could talk and I'd be sucker enough to give you some sympathy. You've been sitting in the office all day thinking, now who can I whinge to? Not Zoe, she sees right through me. Not Kathy, because even though she's a mug, Biff might catch me. I know, Laura. She's on her own. She'll let me walk all over her again. That's not fair. I've had enough of the performance. You're enjoying this, aren't you? I could lose everything. Don't worry. I'll be happy to handle the bankruptcy case. <laughs> 